what's going on guys double c 128 here i'm finally back with another slime isekai memories how to video uh today we're gonna be doing the new heroes jubilee boss battle ex you know i always like to come in with the hard events and give a little walkthrough uh this time i decided to go with the free to play shuna and Wind Milm as my Wind unit. So for turn one, as you guys know, it's not randomized. Two cards of every color and two orbs for each character. So you definitely want to be bringing the changer units. As you see, you got three units that can all uh, change two orbs. I think this is the minimum amount of characters that you want to be running that can do orb changing at least three characters maybe four you know depending on which colors you you need to change so we used Shuna's skill and we got four green attacks and we were able to bring in windmill So the Soe hits pretty hard, but not r like ridiculously hard. Uh, like he doesn't hit as hard as the Conquest Milum does, but nonetheless he hits pretty hard. So we're gonna take out Diablo. We don't want him to get hit by the ult, and we bring in the Wind character because it'll do less damage if it hits a Wind character. Uh, and here we got four attacks for our wind, so we'll keep rolling with that. So, Soe did the reduction to gold orbs, which really hurt this turn, because uh, we had four attacks for that. Um, looking it over, there's not really many good options, because I can only change two orbs. So this is a case where we're going to have to plan for the next turn. So we use we bring in Milum here, Dark Milum, uh, in order to change orbs to blue. And that way we can ensure that the protection will be up next turn. And then we switch her right out for Diablo because uh, we do want to be getting him closer to his ult. So turn four... Uh, Soe boss used his uh, pierce up skill this turn so for anybody out there that's running the Christmas Shion in this event uh, this is the turn that you would want to use her skills the Christmas Shion if you are running her use her this turn and again I don't want Diablo to get hit by the ult so I'm going to switch Soe in it's kind of okay if he gets hit and we're going to use his skill changer this way we get five attacks, and we can chain Shion again for next turn. This is very important uh, to kind of the way my team runs. So we did a decent amount of damage, and more importantly, you know, our characters have decent health still for this uh, point left in the fight. And... Speaking of health, uh, we got to take Windmillum out here because even though her ult's up, we're not really ready to do the uh, combo wombo turn yet. So let's take her out, preserve her life. And this turn, I'm really just working towards Shuna getting her ult because I do want to be using her ult uh, when I do the combo as well. So that was pretty optimal there. He hit Dark Milm a lot. Um, so, again, this is going to be another setup turn. We need to get Diablo's ult up and Shuna's ult up, and then we will have done our job, and we'll be set up for the combo wombo. So, I'm looking at it, and I'm calculating uh, if I do want to make any switches here, but... It just comes down to we need Soe not to kill our Shuna. Because we will be able to get everybody's ult here. Uh, 
So there we go. He hit Diablo three times. This is why we've been preserving Diablo's life the whole game. Paid off for us there. We're able to bring in Win Millum. And we can use her big skill. A 70% damage increase to Soul of Combos. So the ults. And now we got three ults to use this turn. And this is, what, this is why we switched her out earlier. Because we want to use her with her skill. So let's see. Free to play. 11k damage. Not bad at all. I'm pretty impressed by that, honestly. Windmill did 12k. And Diablo did 24k. Not bad, not bad. And we should be able to finish it off this turn. Uh, I, something to keep in mind, like the overflow damage, meaning like the, in the turn that you kill the boss, all that damage does count towards your total score. So it is something of a strategy to save one of your character's ults for your final move, uh, to like finish the boss off with an ult that way. It kind of maximizes your total damage score. And that's something that I do, that I will be doing on all of the easier runs before this one. Uh, in order to have that damage score multiplier at pretty much maxed out. But here we go. We were able to get the S rank, as you saw right there. Top 6%. We're right outside top 5%. I've only done all the other runs one time. So like I said, I just got to clean those up. Go through there. Should be in the top 5%. Uh, no problem. Uh, that was the run. I'm so happy to get S rank. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope it was helpful. And Like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Later.